Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 17 days, we have journeyed together, four more days. We will be completing the batch. Remember, it is an inner transformation program. Whether we are aware or no, the transformation is already happening. You may sense it or you may not sense it. But it has to happen, there is no other go. The very fundamental concept of a soul, let us understand today. Why we are born? Under what guarantee we are born? We take birth in the earth. The soul takes birth in the earth, takes a physical body. It chooses which parent, it chooses which place. You have chosen this body, the color, the height, the family the bonds, everything you have chosen. And in all your past lives, whatever karma we have accumulated, we bring that karma here. You created that reality. Whether to be born as a male or female, you have chosen. Whether to be born in India or America or Australia, USA, Africa, you have chosen. Whether to be born in a rich family or poor family, you have chosen. We have the freedom and free will to choose and to take birth. We should never blame anybody You are what today is exactly because of you. And what you do today will shape your future. So we are responsible for our lives and nobody else is responsible. We should never poke our fingers and say that others have damaged my life or others have uplifted my life. We create our own reality. The soul has freedom, the soul has free will to choose. The mind may not understand why, why only me. But the soul has a perfect understanding why it is born. And we have to find out. You have freedom whether to do meditation or no. You have freedom, whether to read book or no. You have freedom, whether to be in the path of spirituality or no. You have a choice. But if you take a wise choice, the first thing you will find is who you are. Knowing is different, being is different. You must know by experience who you are. Then you be, you start living in a grander freedom. The moment I realized I am a soul living in this physical body temporarily, my mind became free. When I came to know, when I realized I have chosen this family, I have chosen this physical body, I have chosen all the decisions I have taken, the mind become free. Then I told my parents, you cannot restrict my soul. 
I have freedom to meditate and nobody can stop me. Nobody can sit and watch 24 hours upon me. I have the free will, I have the freedom to do whatever I want. My body became free, the mind became free. And the moment I understood there is nothing and no need for me to impress anybody, my whole life became free. <clears throat> I never ever try to convince or impress anybody. I live in my truth. Whoever likes me come here, whoever don't like, they leave, no problem. So I don't need to impress, I'm always in my freedom path. Natural path, free will path. If I want to leave, I leave. If I want to stay, I will stay. If I want to hug, I will hug. If I want to do anything, I will do. Because I have freedom, I have free will. But the other person, the freedom, we should never take away. That is interference. That is a great karma. The bird has a freedom to leave. You catch it, kill it and eat it. Barbaric. Then you have to compensate for it. Compensation is karma. A fish is happily swimming. It has taken a birth. It has designed its life to live for so many months or days. But we catch it, we eat it. What happens? We have interfered in the free will and the freedom of an animal. You have to compensate. We should never give decision to anybody. We should only give suggestion if they ask. Don't poke your nose and say, let me give you an advice. Did he ask? Wait for the other person to ask. Otherwise, don't poke your nose. It's none of your business. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. You have free will, freedom to talk anything. But if you speak anything which is against the nature, you would get into a trap. Again, you have to face karma. To trouble somebody with your words, you face karma. You have freedom to think. But if you think too much of disastrous thought, the thought forms get created. Again, you have to compensate. If you speak unnecessarily, you have to compensate. If you do some actions, you have to compensate. You go and kill an animal or eat, you have to compensate. You have freedom, but you have to use it wisely by using your buddhi. <clears throat> if you misuse, you have to compensate by taking another birth, getting some diseases and troubles. That is how we compensate. Unnecessarily. We must learn one basic thing. What you want, you start giving. If you want freedom, give freedom to everybody. To your kid, to your spouse, to your friends, to your family members, to your colleagues, to the other masters. Give the freedom. Freedom of speech. Allow others to speak. Allow others to express. We must never interfere in anybody's life. And we must never poke our nose into others' personal private affairs. It is deadly against the nature law. Everybody has their own freedom and free will. And we must never interfere. And every interference is a fresh blunder. Again, you have to compensate. 
If you don't understand the word karma, simply replace it with the word compensation. It is a law and you cannot escape the law. You have freedom, but at the cost of the law. You can think, you can speak, you can act, you have full freedom. But before you do one of these, remember law of karma, then you do it. If I do this, should I be able to express it happily or will I have to compensate? If I do this action, if I perform anything, will it create karma? Should I be, should I be doing some compensation for it? Then remember this always. Always you must remember any act or thought or speech will lead to any compensation or nothing. Then you have full freedom. Yesterday, when I met few people, they started complaining about others. Immediately, I saw a quotation on the wall. I said, thank God, there's a quotation there, I'm reading it. That person became aware, he also read in that quotation, it's written, no gossips. No wasting energy. No unnecessary talking. I said, good, it is there. And I said, don't talk about others. No use for you and me. That person silently left. Doesn't matter who he is. I should not allow unnecessary things to go inside my ear. Within few seconds of his words, I immediately became aware. I made him aware that you are talking nonsense. You are doing some gossip and I will never allow that. <coughs> if you have freedom to stop, I have freedom to stop. If it is a gossip. You should never have fear if you are living with truth. I live with truth. Whoever it is, I stop them. If there is a gossip, if it is an interference. If somebody is talking, you should not open your mouth. If I see that, I will ensure that person keep quiet because he is interfering in the other's affairs. If I am not there, I don't care. But in my presence, if somebody is talking, somebody is asking a question, you must listen. If somebody is giving an answer, you must listen. Somebody is sharing an experience, you must listen. If not, you leave that place, rather sitting and interfering. If somebody speaks one sentence, you immediately get excited, speak four or five sentences, you are interfering that flow. That should never happen. We should never misuse our freedom. Such a beautiful concept of freedom and free will. If you understand well, if you apply law of karma, then whole life will be blissful and joyful. Thank you very much, my dear friends. Now please go have a good rest. Such a beautiful meditation, such a beautiful program. We'll all connect this week. I am seeing a lot of appointments being booked. I'm very excited to meet you all, to check, to talk with you and see the energy measurements, where you were and where you are. See you soon. Thank you very much. Namaste. Take good rest. Bye-bye.